control the control the goat through the app, like a remote control car, and you try and get it to around about 30 centimeters from the edge. So I, I'm I'm trying to talk and drive at the same time, which is like trying to drink and drive. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, Basically, you can see that this process. If I was just to map this area, it would take me less than five minutes, right? And once it's mapped, what the what the goat will do will go back to the station, and then it will have to come out. And what, when it comes out, what it's doing is it's checking your map and creating that efficient map that you would have, uh, like similar to the D bot, maybe similar to a D bot. Now, this mapping process, like I said, is quick. I'm just going to map this area really, really quickly, and then I can then send it out to do a little bit of mowing. Now, that's one of the one of the key key features or uh, key benefits of this product was obviously the wire, wireless boundary setting. But then, as you can see, maybe with this other goat that's going, it sort of detected the cat and it's starting now to find another route around the cat as well. So it's got really, really good obstacle avoidance. And this is all part of the technology and innovations that we have in our D-Bus that are now applying into other categories and other products like the Goat G1. And this is very different to other, some of the other products. Other products on the, on, the, on the market don't have very good obstacle avoidance. Um, and obviously from a, from a navigation point of view, the beacons really, really help our products because we don't rely on the satellites and things like that. So we don't have to be impacted by weather, big buildings that may be around. Sorry, I'm, I'm mapping really, really messy right now. <laughs> it's gonna be a wiggly garden. <laughs> <laughs> but basically once I've mapped, I can then... So map's completed. We'll let that go back into, into, its, into its station. With this one, like I said, even if it's like a, you know, animals obviously don't st sit there for a mile to come around. <laughs> They're obviously gonna be running around, right? They'll try and ride on it. Yeah. So, so. Even if it's running across, it identifies it and it's going around. Now, you're hearing this beeping sound because we've got the uh, security turned on on these things. So if this was in, um, in, your, in a station, you have this in your backyard, someone comes into your backyard, uh, this will actually detect and take snapshots and send it to your phone. So then that way, like if you're out having a dinner and you sort of see, see a, a little a photo of someone standing in your garden, you know who it is and you can, yeah, <laughs> you can do what you want to do after that. Um, the other part of this product is, um, it's obviously, as I mentioned, it um, cuts to learn in systematic methods. Some other brands out there are cut in a random method because that's based on their navigational um, and how they do things. This product, you can actually also change the direction of how it cuts. So if you want to, if this product at the moment is going um, vertical to the station, you can actually do it horizontal, you can do it other directions as well. There's other, a lot of other safety features on this product as well. So I've said it at the moment, so if I was to pick it up, the blades will stop straight away. So they're not spinning while you're trying to pick it up. That's one. The other part is if I get close to it as a human, because it detects human, it'll also stop the blades. So that, that way it's, it's also safe as well. So because some of the biggest injuries in Australia are related, uh, in terms of Lord Bowls, is related to the incidents like this where children or things like that may get hit by stones or cut by Lord Bowls and things like that. So there's a lot of safety features. There's also a big stop red button there. So if there is anything available that, that you need to, you can hit that straight away. This product here is more maintenance. So it's not a product where you go, I've got massive long lawns, let's try and get the goat out there and cut it. It's not about, about trying to cut those type of lawns. You're still gonna have to manually do that. This product is more about that maintenance, so anything under 10 centimeters, and it will basically, on a regular basis, you can set it on a schedule and cut your lawns at any time, yeah? Um,